The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, the 12th of November. We're looking at the Dow down 51 to 44,242. I, I, I just did Tommy Jr.'s uh, uh, show, the morning market kickoff. And uh, that was, um, we discussed that, and I said that that's, that's what I was looking for. Some guy said to subscribers to my opening call, we can anticipate some kind of weakness, but that explosive move to the upside with that little doji candle four sessions ago, going higher the following session, that was really important. And then following through yesterday, that says that this is probably a leg A to the upside, and there should still be a B, a C, and a D, three more higher peaks if today is a peak A. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at it right now. I don't see any reason to change that. Whoa, sharp move down. God, I didn't even have a chance to do anything in that break. I should have. I had everything set up for a C there. Peak your C. Oh, peak D right there. Oh. And you had the arch formation peak E in the in the five minute chart and a peak F. Oh, I didn't even see that because I had to get myself a cup of tea, uh, at least full the refill my tea, and that's what I missed. A really nice move from six thousand thirty five to five six thousand twenty one right now. Anyway, this is what we're anticipating. Some kind of a pullback. Now, let me go through everything. And I had a bunch of questions that I didn't finish uh, in, in Tommy's Hour, the morning market kickoff. Some really good uh, charts to look at, meaning good in the sense that they are in positions that they weren't in just recently. Now they're starting to move. So let's do this. The Dow's on 84 at 44,230. I'm anticipating a bit of a, a pullback, maybe even. I would like to see a test of 44,000. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, the weekly charts are still very strong. Daily charts are still very strong. Stochastics are 93% on the daily chart. You can see right here. Let me just get my pointer. I did the other day change the pointer, so it was a bigger pointer. Let me just check on my uh, on YouTube. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. How does it look? Hey, wait, what's going on? Did, is there, did that freeze or something? No. I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'll try to change it. I'd like a bigger pointer. It just makes it so much easier, but then it messes up other things. S&P right now finally did go negative. It is down uh, 4 at 59.97. Not a big deal. As I say, a breather. I anticipated some kind of a breather today. QQQ, NDX 100. 513.37 didn't make a new all-time high today off yesterday's high. It's got a little mini chap with red Roman candle. I'd already talk about that as a Roman candle, but if a, if it if the E mini if the QQ sorry trading at 513.24 uh, for 40 minutes trades under 50 512.90, there's a real good chance it'll take out yesterday's or test yesterday's low of five. Uh, Five. Why is it so hard to see? What was yesterday's low? Five. Ten. Yeah, five ten point ninety two. Hmm, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit much. But anyway, I'm looking at it closely. IWM is now down uh, nine ninety seven, down one at two forty point seventy two. This has been uh, one of the great leaders. Uh, in this particular phase, and one of the reasons why I've, I've liked it so much is that we did go long right here. The, the low was 196.60 on the 5th of August. The very next day, we went long, and we've been also aggressively long at different times, but we're taking a little bit off, and I like this action very much. I like a pullback here. Although this is a peak D, I've got to watch it very closely so that we can add. We are trying to add to the long position of the Russell 2000 because that's part of this whole rotational aspect. Let's go to the SMHs. The SMHs were down earlier on. Now they're down 64 at 252.91. I just think they're in a sideways. You know, sideways is, in fact, a trading pattern. 
It is, you go up, you go down, or you can go sideways. Sideways means it's not sideways if you had to take this and treat it as a 120-minute chart. But on daily position, you can say, hey, above 263, that's really positive. Below 239, or let's even say 240, that's negative. And you're stuck in the middle. You've been there for quite some time. You've been there since, um, I didn't put the date, since the high of October the 14th at 262.26. So that is that is a trading position. Just be careful because it's not going anywhere. Let's go on to, um, okay, now I'll finish up the stuff I didn't do. So we've got gold uh, trading down to at uh, 2616. Look at the speed with which you came down. So what I normally do is I did, I did this earlier on in the E-mini just as a demonstration. I showed left side, right side, price, time match for the E-mini one-minute chart, S&P, going from that low at about 840-something uh, to the high of peak D. Remember, D is what you always look for. And then you came back down, and in one minute before the expiration of this particular pattern, it went exactly to the 6,025 level. And then it had a good rally, went to peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And I didn't put the down arrow. And then it plummeted from the 6,036 level to the most recent of uh, 6020. And now it's trying, you remember, look how important the 200 period moving average is. It went under, it went over, now it's back. And then see how it hugs the 6027 area. So I'm looking at, let's go back to what I was looking at over here. And what I'm saying is that you took out this left side low, you have two bars, uh, maybe make it three, two days in the daily chart for gold to close above this low right here, the, the low of the 10th of October, one of the reasons we got out of our gold stock is from that moment on, it just wasn't participating. And the gold stocks, not many of them were doing well. Uh, in fact, what I'm thinking about, I don't want to change, I don't want to change course because I'm on gold and I had a question about Harmony. So um, in the den, and it was, it was really, um, See, uh, M -R M Roz says, uh, or is it Mr. Oz, says there is a monthly left side, right side match in harmony when you take July 2020 to, to September 21. This month is the right side uh, match. So HMY, HMY, harmony. Now, I should know a lot more about this. I think harmony gold is a South African stock, and it was on the Vol Reefs, which is... Um, just outside Johannesburg. Let me see what's going on here. Close. There it is. Um, so you were looking at this pattern right here. Oh, wait. Oh, you said uh, July 2020. Oh, you did that. Okay. So, okay, I see what you're saying. So I like to look at the plumber. I've got webinars. If you take my... Um, if you do my webinar that I'm I'm holding on Thursday at four o'clock for subscribers to my opening call, uh, you would I'll be discussing uh, some of these techniques. So I would have taken this little doji candle here before I took the low as a plumb line, and that would have taken me to right here a little bit beyond uh, there. So yeah. Ah, huh. okay. Now, I thought you were talking about, I'll, I'll get to this. I just wanted to show you AEM, did exactly what you were talking about. Left side, right side, price, time match. That's Agnico Eagle Mines. I'll get to the HMY in a moment because it's a good point that he was making. I must just get that point right. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, so I'm trying to do a left side, right side price time match to Harmony, but I go back all the way to the high that was made back in 2000 and I think it was 6, 2006. Actually, I should go even further to the high that was made Look, peak A, peak B, peak C1, C2. Oh, you've got to start there. A, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so I should go to the, the, the 19s. I'm going to just go to this one right here. <clears throat> and what I did is I took that high that was 2006, around about January in the 19s. I went to this tiny little doji candle low as my plumb line. I can't go, I can go further. I don't want to use that right now to move this. I, I have another one, two, three, three months to go if I was to get the exact precise uh, level. So that says to me that trading at 918, I've got all the way until 2005, 25, to get to the 18s. And I would then say that this left side low, um, yeah. So I would have, for the left side, right side, I would have taken the high of uh, July of 2020 at 761. I would have used that high right there as the plumb line. And that would have taken me to right there. November of 2023, when it was just a little under it, and it took, and what happens is, if it's still acting very well, and it hasn't done the left side, right side time match, that's the symmetry, um, very often it goes, takes its time, and then goes way above, and then comes back and retests the lip on the left side. It didn't do that. <clears throat> so most important, I've got this as, as either an instant restart or a peak F right now, if there's no new high in, in Harmony, Harmony Gold, South African gold mine uh, this month. But most importantly, what I was looking at is AEM. And I, I think that's what you were referring to. I hope so. And I'll check in the den to see if you, uh, if you are monitoring what I'm saying. What, but 
Agnico Eagle at 8923, the high of September of 2020. The plumb line was exactly September 2022 with 36.69, cut in half, more than half. And then it ran peak A, peak B, under it had a gray peak A and peak B, then an overlapping C, and D went where to? It went right to the most recent high of 89. <clears throat> You're not going to believe this on a monthly chart. It had a round number high of 89.0, a zero, right there on the 24th of October. How about that as a technique? Um, all, all, a, a recovery high after three years, and it goes to, I'm just typing it in, 89 round number high. And now it's trading at 77, 20 points, 22 points. Oh, sorry, 77, 12 points. So, yeah, and a peak E in the weekly chart. All right, so that's how we use it. I'll be watching Harmony, as I say. If I'm not mistaken, I think I grew up near a mine on the Vol Reef just near Johannesburg as a teenager. And uh, my, gra my grandfather once had a stone crusher. You remember, you know, all the stones that come from the mine? Uh, I remember that, I, but he had sold it by the time I was kind of aware of all that stuff. Um, yeah. All right. So as we're looking at this, what I am looking at right now is um, weakness, weakness in the gold. And you've got to be careful. Um, that's the reason why we got out of our gold trade. Uh, now, I said that I would do some other things. I do want to go to the TLT. <clears throat> Chapman Wave, uh, this is the... Falling axe formation on the upside, it broke out to the uh, to the um, leg C that was back in August of this this year, and then it went to a peak D in September, and in the 101 area, 101.64, that was peak in the daily chart. Then the left side. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about. That when I do a left side, right side price time match, and it misses. But it's still on the way up or down. Very often it goes below, and then it tries to bounce back. So this is exactly what we're looking at in the TLT. This cluster formation is going to be very important because if the TLT trading at 9163, the iShares 20-year Treasury bond ETF, closes below 88 in the next week, it makes this whole area very strong resistance. If, in fact, it does the opposite in rallies, and this is the chapter of inverted falling axe formation that also goes to, if it goes to a D, it says there should be a lot of support because you've used up both upside and downside energy on the left side troughs. And that makes this trough right here very important at 89, uh, 82. That was the week of the 5th of July because if you can close above it for two weeks, that's going to be very important. It says you've got yourself a little bit of support there. So this is going to be a very important moment because we've got the TBT with the exact opposite. Breaks out leg A in the weekly chart, peak E in the daily chart, peak E in the monthly chart, dreaded H pattern, but within two bars, it's managed to get back inside. So that's important. So I'm watching the yields. Yields right now are just in the higher range. They're not breaking more to the upside, but they are in the higher range, and that's important. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil, um, crude oil is just not doing well. Uh, dreaded H pattern in the daily chart, reversing at the 200 period moving average of 72.12, trading at 68.61 right now, 57 cents. And look at that weekly chart. That inside track repellent on it just, uh, it's really tough for crude oil to, to get going here. And of course, if uh, Trump follows through and says that he's going to add more uh, oil to uh, the market, that's a problem. I think I've covered most of what I wanted to do. In, in Tommy show, I did the currencies, did the dollar, just did the dollar for the moment. It was strong. And now it is up 39 ticks at 105.89. I've got this a brand new leg B, having held the 200 period moving average. What a technique, huh? You just put the tool in, and if you use it correctly, look what you can get, all that information. Trampoline, boop, from the 153, 53, 200 period moving average. And it's breaking 
the uh, Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. This is a, a work in progress. So I wouldn't get too excited. You want to see 106, 75, maybe 173, 13 in November to really say, oh, the dollar's breaking out. We haven't got there yet. Okay, I think I've done it. Okay, questions on it. Let's go backwards. So Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae, fabulous move up. We looked at it the other day and I said, yes, I like it. Where is it now? I believe this is a brand new leg B. It made a peak E right there, trading at 2.55, up 19 cents. It doesn't sound like much, but believe me, 88%, 8% is a big deal. So here we are. We're looking at the 200 period moving average as a springboard. Whoosh, it goes up. Everything's positive. In the weekly chart, oh, I always have to go back. You have to go back to the starting point. I like to look at the left side low as, as but if you don't pick the left side low correctly, and look, that looks like it's a leg A, but I have to check because the low was at 0 0.350 and 0 0.352. Yeah, so that is A. If it was the same, I, I, I couldn't use it. So A, B. Under it goes huh, A. Under that's A. A, B. Yeah, we've got ourselves a C in the... And starts A, the overlapping wave goes to a D. Whoa, this is going to be interesting. E and an F. So I like this very much. That's Fannie Mae, F -N -F -N -M -A. I'll be right back. Buzzle Jap and Tiger Editions out. Oh, I need to talk about my webinar on Thursday at 4 o'clock for subscribers. I'll be back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. So using my left side, right side, a symmetry price uh, tr price time match for uh, Fannie Mae, Fed, Federal National Mortgage Association trading at 253 right now at 17 cents. I've got a test of, that's if everything works out, I've got a test of the high of December of 2020 that said $3, I think it was a round number. Yep, a $3 round number high. Unbelievable, these round numbers. Three. Point zero zero round number high. Um, yeah, that wasn't the all-time high. I, well, the, the, that actually goes, uh, yeah, it goes up into the fours. But that was the high of December. So I've got that as a potential in uh, January or February of this coming year. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, on the short term, it's leg C in the weekly chart looking really good. Key support is at 220 to 2. I'd even go down to um to 2.05 all right so let me just do this um so there's another oh cmg yeah cmg um chipotle the mexican grill restaurants you know i've followed this for years we've never owned this and i actually had never gone into it i went into one about two years ago and I was real, maybe a year ago, and I was pleasantly surprised. I don't know why, what I was thinking. I actually, I don't like spicy stuff. My tongue doesn't seem to like spicy stuff. And uh, so, uh, but I enjoyed it very much. So that doesn't mean anything. Of course, the price is a V-shaped pattern. It's trying to get back to the 61s. It's trading right now at 60.30. Um, yeah, and the weekly chart looks like the semis. It's just under the previous major high. Under, that was just under 70, plummets down to the uh, 47 area. Now it's at 60, doing nicely, walking, stair step, but not great. It's just doing very nicely. But the monthly chart says it should go to a new high, a leg D, above the high that was made of 62.96 in July of this year. I, Time-wise, I just can't say at this particular point, this looks more like a failure pattern in the weekly chart than, than anything else. Nothing wrong. It just isn't showing the strength that it had before with the big moves up. Look how quickly it's gone to peak A, P, P, peak C, and D. Look how long it took each one for the weekly chart. Peak A, weeks later, much higher peak B. Weeks later, much higher peak C. Weeks later, much higher leg D. Then a peak D, and then weeks later, all-time high. So I'm just saying this is... This is just saying it's under some kind of pressure right now. So I just give you the support level. It's at 60, 58.50. If it closes under 57, I'd say that's a problem. But if it keeps holding and it keeps moving and it can close above 61.80, preferably touch 62 in this first part of November, that'll be a good sign. So yes, it's working its way high. It's just not the kind of pattern that I like. Um, anyway, so any projection price on Fannie Mae? Yes, I did that. Um, oh, SND, SND, yeah, we looked at that and wasn't doing very much. This is one that pops up on my screamer list very often. SND, sand something or other. Can't remember what they did. I thought it was very interesting, but it wasn't active. It wasn't doing all that well. Uh, Basil, you've been a tad cautious as S&D previously. Today's break in 2.5, two and a half year <clears throat> resistance high with earnings tonight. Hmm. All right, so look at the left side, low of importance. Right there. So that is definitely the left side low. It goes lower than that. But previously, it went to peak A, B, C, D. That's complete. So this is the next one. And that went to peak A. Hmm, that's interesting. B, 
C, and then pulls back sharply. So this is overlapping A, B, C. This is a D. Uh, it looks like it should be a C, but I'm, I'm calling it a D because it never completed the D over there. Nope, nothing nothing that I can see makes it a D. So, and it's not even peak C1, C2. That's just too deep. But it has the characteristics of a C. Let's put it that way. So, And the monthly chart has gone A, right there, A again, and that makes that a B. And you go... So another A, another A, and a B. Overlapping wave. This is a really good example of a Chapman wave overlapping wave. Um, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It, it does have that characteristic, but I really want to say a restart. Some people have asked me, look, we get the starting pattern, and then it just keeps coming back, but it doesn't go anywhere. What happens is the more times it goes to peak A and a B and then pulls back but doesn't take out the starting point, let me just double check that that did go to a D because that wouldn't be the starting point. Yep, it is. A, B, C, D, E, and an F, right? So, yes. So the more times that it does that, the greater the chances are that the sideways time lapse that you've got could extend to the upside. In other words, if you had a compass and you put the, you pricked, you put the pointer there, you could swing it around, and this just says, it's at 271 right now, 14 cents, at 5%. It looks very much like it wants to tackle uh, the threes. So I like it very much. So yeah, down in the den, yeah, it's trading at 272. It looks like it wants to get into the threes, and that'll be in, the, if it does it now, it's going to be leg C, and that's going to be very important. And that really tells you that the base of support is going to be in the 235 to 215 area. Let me just finish the daily chart. So that's A, B, and there were two of these, so that can be a phantom peak. And that's a D. That becomes A, B, C, D. And that becomes... Yeah, I, this has the characteristic of an A rather than E, but I now have to put E slash A. Why? Because on that pullback, briefly it went pink, but the nine-period moving average has been very strong. The MACD has been very strong. I just get a little bit nervous when I see the nine-period differential of the MACD scream away from the 26 period exponential moving average that invariably says, oh, be careful because you could have a little bit of a pullback as it starts to roll over. But this flat stochastic at 89% is good. I like this very much. So I, I'm going to just stay with what I was saying before. SND now is in play. I, I wish I'd seen it before. I did it not. I haven't written it down. I have a list over the past, it's, this is really over the past three to four sessions. I have a list of 60 stocks under 10 that are just really starting to move. So even today, there are how many? There are 10 in my streamer list. That's why the IWM, the Russell 2000, has been so strong. Um, okay, so I'll be back in a moment. I've got a lot still to discuss. I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that. Um, yes, I'll be back in a moment. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors for traders who crave risk directions daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade and trade through rapidly changing markets these are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading not long-term investing whether you're a bull or a bear you choose the direction for up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So JB in the den uh, mentioned that he hadn't noticed before, and I, I point this out all the time if I can, how important the 200 period moving averages are, but especially in when you're doing trading, intraday trading, like the one, five and 10 minute charts of the E-mini, um, and he mentioned he didn't notice ever before that sometimes the 200 period moving average could be almost the same price in all the different time frames. So here we are. Think of this as this is the one minute chart as a daily. Think of the five minute chart as a weekly. Think of the 10 minute chart as a monthly. So you've got 6,026.50 as the 200 period moving average in the uh, in the one minute chart. And look how it's been resistance. The price couldn't hold above it. Wait a minute. You've got this. Look how many times you've hit over the past since 7 o'clock this morning. It's actually earlier than that. But let's just say 7 o'clock. You've hit this 200-period moving average, and yet that pink 9-period moving average turned negative and is pushing the price down. That just is, that's, that's a big negative. And you finally got the 10-minute chart pink 9-period moving average away from the same thing. Look, 6,025.59. So obviously this goes in 25 cent increments and let's call it 50. Um, for the 10 minute chart, 6,026.30, let's call it 10. For the five minute chart and 6,026.50 for the one minute chart. That's just telling you it was fa fabulous support. Once it breaks, that becomes intense resistance. So until the, um, until the nine period moving average uh, in the daily crosses positive to allow it to try to get to 6,026 and start. And it's going to take a lot more than that to help the five minute chart and a lot more to help the 10 minute chart. This is what I was talking about. I think today's a day of rest. That's what we've been waiting for. No new positions today unless certain levels are hit, but no any no fresh positions. And that's what's coming up when I do my webinar sector rotations on Thursday. Opening call subscriber. It's only for subscribers, but you can become a subscriber. Money back guarantee if you're not happy. And we've got, you know, we, we have a position today uh, up 16%, is it? Uh, let me find it. 17%. So we, we are long. We had two positions long because I said I prefer this pattern of genius sports. Limited data betting marketing in London 
to the uh, DKNG, which is DraftKings. And we've had a lot of success with it. We've had two positions. One, we've taken profits and we're out of that. And we've got another one down at the 650 level. Here we are at 9.50, the 9.47 actually, up a dollar thirty six. Must have had earnings today. I have the earnings here written as the 15. So what I do for subscribers, if we are in positions that are doing really well, I don't worry about the uh, earnings. It just, you know, if it comes down, it's still looking like a great stock. We'll be okay. But sometimes I make a big deal about it, um, and sometimes it's by accident things happen. For instance, we had one, we still have it, Solventum uh, Core Healthcare spin-off from Triple M. We've had since the 57s from way back, 57, 58 level. So we took little bits of gains. I said this is not an instant restart. It's going to be a good example of when it continues much higher than that peak D. That usually becomes an E or an F, and then you come down. Well, at E, it pulled back from 7340, and then we added the positions we took off, we added up new people got into, I mean, new people got into new positions, uh, or they didn't have it before, they finally got in. So we had a really good uh, entry at 68, and it ran to a peak D. We were waiting for the D. I didn't know that it was earnings. I had typed it in right there, but I forgot to look at it. Um, but we had been done so well, I wouldn't have worried about it because um, look, you know, that was a spike that there was uh, the filtration business could be uh, sold off. So it spiked and then pulled back to 76.05. I said there should be a D. If there is a C, Chapman Wave Methodology says there's invariably a D. If it goes one penny above 76.05, let's take something off, uh, which we did, and it went to D. And then it turned around after the earnings. It was disappointing, I guess, but not disappointing so far to collapse the whole thing. It's a leg in the monthly, in the weekly chart. That needs a rest. It could test uh, the 67 area. So I'm going to tell for subscribers, I, we might just get out of this position altogether. I don't know. We've taken nice profits. That is the, the trading position, not the core position. So that's what I like to do. So this one here, which is um, G-E-N-I is a symbol. Uh, what do we do next? I'm not yet sure because it's done what we wanted. And I've got this as a brand new leg B and a leg F in the weekly chart and a leg E for an F or a recycle in the in the monthly chart. This is nice because I said it's got to get to the nine, uh, nine, 99, I think it was. Or the, it has to get to the upper nines where the 200 period moving average is for me to uh, be able to say what can happen next because that's that's the objective. What is that level? 998, yes, 998. So here it is at nine of the height today of 966. Almost accomplished that. So yeah, as I said, I like that better than uh, DKNG, uh, which you can see the chart pattern here is not anywhere near as exciting as the GENI. All right, so that's what we have. So the webinar is going to go. For sector rotation should continue as new groups rally. That's why we've put a lot of emphasis on the Russell 2000. Oh, I didn't mention this. So XLF, where we've got Bank of America, which is part of the, the money center banks, done really well. So the XLF is down $0.08 cents today. But my contention has been for weeks now <clears throat> that the S&P 500 should see a rotation into the small caps as a small play, ca small caps play catch up, and that's the same relationship to the XLF and the KRE, which is the regional ETF, S and P regional banking ETF. And lo and behold, it's had a fabulous move. Uh, it's at 67.02, up two cents right now, just under yesterday's high. Leg D in the weekly chart, leg D in the monthly. Finally, it broke above that left side, right side price time match to the to the month, to the exact bar that I considered important. That's that's good. So that's good action, and that's what I'm saying. We've been rotating through different sectors, and this is one of the sectors that I've liked. The small, the regional banks, huh, small. Some of these banks in the regionals are they have billions and billions of dollars. So they're not small in that sense. American small is not European small. Let's put it that way. All right. So as it stands right now, oh, I needed to check. Was there a question here? Um, it's FX. Yeah, I'll get to the FXI in a moment. And the other question was right here. 
Um, oops. I couldn't, I couldn't see what it is. All right, I'll get to that. Okay, so let's do this. So KRE is what we consider to be fresh blood. This is now the new sector of importance. I'm not going to say leadership. It's not yet leadership, but it's really important. It has some very good um, uh, gains. That's the small caps, the Russell 2000, with the KRE is in that same category. Now there is interest, finally, in the small caps. So that's all the things that I'll be discussing on Thursday with some chart patterns I'll be looking at. But I'm going to go through a lot of stocks. Just the basic information I'll get to very quickly, but mostly I'm going to be looking at stocks. What do we do? Are these stocks even short? I'll be back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Yes, Larry, call in right now. Uh, I believe I've got Larry. Can Larry call in? Right now, I cannot. Oh, what a pity. Uh, sorry, I did not see that until earlier. I mean, till late. Um, sorry, Larry. Um, okay, so what we've got is Moz. You've got this um, the mosaic, the mosaic company, huge move down. So there are shorts, but I don't know if this is really, you want to short the weakest, and this is weak. It's right at a cusp, on the cusp of breaking key support. So let me just uh, review now because I've got my webinar coming up on Thursday for sectors and stocks for the next market phase. We've already begun that. So if you want to join, join right away because Tomorrow, I'm probably going to have some new buys. Uh, we did have Bitcoin. Uh, we got in recently. Uh, it's had a spectacular move to the upside. We've taken some profits. 
But yes, it's only a leg C as I see it in the weekly chart. Uh, look at the pattern that we were looking at here, the Bitcoin. Remember, I was looking at this cup and handle. What happens is very often with the handle, it goes to the leg D. Then it can pull back to the lip on the left side. So I'm anticipating at some point when we run out of energy for the Bitcoin, it's going to have that pullback. So not everything is a hunky-dory in the sense that we're just rocket shipping right to the upside. Some of these things have to have a bit of a breather because they've had spectacular gains. And that includes, as I said, money center banks have been great. Now the regionals are coming on. S&P has been great. Now we've got the small caps. That's what we are trading. That's what we're looking at. And most importantly, I just want you to see if I, I've got this right here. Um, yes. So let me just uh, update for a moment. So for my webinar that I've got on Thursday, we've already started putting on positions for what we think is the next phase. But they'll start positions that that's all we want to add to. And that's what we want to do over the next week. Why? Because I still consider that we're going to be going higher in this phase. I believe it's a leg A in the Dow that should go to another high B, then a C, and then a D. And then I think we've got to be careful before Thanksgiving. That's the way it stands right now. Um, hope you can tune in. The great programming coming.